What is going on guys? Thank you so much for clicking on the video. The day has finally arrived. Today I will be doing the 10k calorie challenge. I made a promise to my subscribers that if I passed 1000 subs, I would do this. And this is me keeping that promise. Now I know what you're thinking. There's loads of 10k calorie challenges online. So why should you watch mine? This one is going to be epic. It's 7.30 in the morning. This morning I weighed in at 199.2 pounds. Pretty happy with that, given I have another two months of bulking left. So let's start. So let's start. Let's start eating some junk food. That actually wasn't too bad. Feeling pretty confident about this. This has around 1,200 calories in it, so. I tried to time lapse eating this one, but my camera just like didn't do it. So I did eat it. <laughs> Hopefully the time lapse will work for this one. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Oh my god. Okay, so I am that far through this one. I honestly didn't think it would be this hard. I'm starting to feel a little bit queasy, <laughs> a little bit sick. We're gonna do this. This is a ridiculous amount of sugar for this time of the morning. Alright guys, so here's my next meal. Two Pepperoni Plus Chicago Town takeaway pizzas. Each one of these is 1,800 calories for the pizza. So that is 3,600 calories between these two. Let's do this. <laughs> All right guys, so the pizzas are ready. Let's have a look at these. Oh. <laughs> I'm not a pizza connoisseur, but these look pretty damn good. Thick stuffed crust, double pepperoni. First pizza done. This is actually very difficult. I'm struggling here. Still have a whole pizza to, do, to go. Okay, this is getting really difficult. This is how much I've left. So I've eaten one and a quarter pizzas, and I actually don't know how I'm gonna finish this. Okay guys, it's 10 past two. I'm feeling seriously bloated right now, but I know if I sit around at home or lie down, I'll just go into a coma, so <laughs> I'm gonna go to the gym, spend some time on the treadmill, get acquainted with the elliptical machine, hopefully hit legs, see what I'm like when I get back. I'm hoping that when I get back, I will have an appetite again, but currently my calories should be, after those pizzas, around 6,000, so 
I can still do this. Just out of the gym, I did 45 minutes on the elliptical at a steady pace, hopefully burn some calories there. Then I did a light leg workout. Honestly, I was feeling absolutely exhausted. My body's just not used to consuming this, this amount of calories. I was just really sluggish and weak, but I, I still did it. So I'm just gonna head home now and hopefully Hopefully smash this challenge. Let's go. All right guys, so for my post-workout meal, I've got the devilish creation that is the pizza. Now I've never seen one of these until I was in the shop last night and decided to get one because this thing has a whopping 1,300 calories in the pizza. And it's, it's not even a full-size pizza. It's about an eight inch or nine inch pizza. So it's basically like chocolate and brownie pieces. Madness really. That'll bring me to around 7,300 calories for the day so far, and it's 10 past five in the evening. So it's in the oven right now. I'll show you when it comes out. All right, so here it is, guys. As ludicrous as it gets. Let me dig into this. All right, so that's another 1,300 calories gone from the from that pizza, and I think a hundred from the milk. That was actually quite disgusting. I wouldn't recommend that dessert pizza to anyone at all. Actually, let me show you my macros. So 7,420, and it's 10 to 6. So let's get the rest done. Okay, guys. So next thing I'm gonna have is a little kind of panettone cake with chocolate chips. It is, macros are down here. In that little cake, there is 404 calories. So that'll bring my total up a little bit. For my next trick, I will combine Wensleydale cheese with oat cake biscuits. Because cheese is very high in fat, it'll be high in calories. I'm gonna have this whole block of cheese, which is 395 calories, and we'll see how many of these I'll use. Each one of these is 50 calories. Okay, so I just realized we have cheddar in the fridge, which is actually higher in calories than this Wensleydale stuff. And it's not that nice anyway, so I'm gonna switch to cheddar. So I've cleared my crackers and I got 100 grams of cheddar. Okay, so I've gone halfway through, halfway exactly through what I've been eating. It's absolutely horrible. So I'm going to half the calories I put into my, my fitness pal, chuck this and have mince pies, which are 260 calories each. I'm gonna have two of those instead. I probably end up with more calories than eating this. So apologies. Okay guys, so if I complete these mince pies and the milk, I will get to 
8,900 calories. So that's only just over 1,000 calories after that, and it is currently 7 p.m. So not looking too shabby. Here we go. It's a lot better than the trees. Imagine I this hair to eat like a man's pie normally. <laughs> it's like... When you've just eaten 8,000 calories, the flavor of food becomes like potent. The sweetness in this is, is absolutely disgusting to me right now. Just like when I was eating those pizzas, the saltiness was just unbearable. My brain is telling me to stop eating, but I'm doing this for the YouTubes. <clears throat> okay guys, it's 25 past 7. Is this recording? Yep. It's like a really stormy outside, so gonna go for a walk, try and burn some excess calories and then come back around an hour's time, get my next meal in. All I've left is 1,100-ish, so on the home stretch guys, let's do this. Guess where I'm going guys, 8.40 p.m. I like a can I get two large fries please? I'll just take those, thanks. Yeah, no worries. 11, 10 of Perfect. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks very much. Okay guys, so I went to McDonald's, finish off my macros for the day. I two of these. To be honest, not feeling too bad, not feeling too bloated or full at the moment. The worst was after those pizzas, just because they were so like carb heavy. But um, I feel like these fries will go down easy and I'll have the macros up on screen at the end of the video for sure. And my calories should be doing some sort of slidey business here or here. And uh, you should be able to see where my calories are at. It's currently 10 to nine. So let's finish these fries. Let's be honest guys, it wouldn't be a 10,000 calorie challenge without a trip to Mackey D's. So here are the macros for one of those, 500 calories, multiply that by 2, add that in, current calories, 9,958, so the last 42 calories, I think I might have a glass of milk. <laughs> Alright guys, so right here is 200 mils of skimmed milk straight from the fridge. 70 calories. Here we go. Ah, yeah, just kidding. So we made it to 10,000 calories. Can't believe it guys. For a while there I was really struggling after those two pizzas but once I got past that, went to the gym, burned some calories, smashed through those fries, absolutely no problem. 10,000 calories in the bag. Thank you so much for 1,000 subscribers, you guys rock. Keep the positive vibes coming. If you're new to the channel and this is your first video, I'd love if you could subscribe, join the family, join the channel. Make sure to follow me on Instagram. Make sure to give the video a like if you liked the video. Comment something funny and I'll catch you in the next one guys, peace.